What's up, everybody? Stinger NLG, Mike Mullis here for the original Next Level Gaming. Welcome to another NLG Presents. What we like to do with NLG Presents are specialty things. When there's a new feature for a console, be it uh, backward compatibility, a new dashboard, perhaps remote play like we've seen on the uh, PlayStation 4, or something like that, we like to show it to you. We like to demo it for you. And we're going to do that today with a new feature coming to the Xbox One in the March Creator Update. That is Beam Streaming. Now, if you're watching this and it's already after March and you've already gotten your Creator Update, then this is more of a tutorial for you. Otherwise, this is a first look. Take your pick. So Beam started out as a streaming service to compete with Twitch and YouTube. Uh, in January of 2016. Now Twitch, as we know, is very, uh, very popular. It's kind of the de facto go-to streaming uh, service. And then YouTube came along, started to do direct streaming as well. That's how we stream our NLG podcasts. That's how we do um, a couple of other small things that we do from time to time. And the PlayStation 4 can do both Twitch streaming and direct to YouTube streaming, something the Xbox One cannot. So, with that in mind, Microsoft purchased Beam in October of 2016 with the hopes of being able to have their own streaming, uh, uh, streaming setup. And they decided that when they bought Stream, they were going to figure out how to integrate it into Windows 10, which of course also integrates with the Xbox One. With this creator update, that's exactly what you're going to be able to do. Now, unlike Twitch, where it's an app or a sidebar that you have to either call up with your uh, games and apps or you have to use voice commands to do so, the Beam app and the Beam streaming are going to be two separate pieces. The Beam streaming is going to be on your sidebar when you hit that guide button. So as easy as you can get to your settings, find your friends, check out your achievements, go home, uh, you're going to be able to start and stop a Beam stream. Now, we're going to show you both the app. We're going to show you how Beam looks on Microsoft Edge on the Xbox One. And then we're going to show you a quick tutorial on how to stream. Streaming is very easy. You could set up your microphone. So if you want to record your voice, you can set up your connect camera. If you want to do, uh, you know, video while you're streaming, you can include your party chat. If you're in with a party of friends and you want to have all the fun included and you can put, unlike the Twitch app or the Twitch streaming, you can put the beam uh, overlay on any part of the screen that you want in the outer rim. So you, just like the achievement tracker, which we showed you in one of our uh, Dead Rising 4 videos, you'll be able to put this somewhere where you want it to be and not necessarily just at the bottom middle where it might be obscuring something that you're trying to do. You'll be able to move this stuff on the fly and you'll be able to add and remove your camera, your voice, or your party chat on the fly as well. Now, this is basic streaming. So you know, those of us at NLG, we have capture cards and that's how you can see this cool overlay with my name on it and that stuff and all the stuff that you see when we're doing our, uh, our streams and our video uploads. But for most people that just want to do some quick and dirty streaming, they're playing a game and they want to show it off to their friends. You're playing a sports game and you want to show off. This is perfect. It's just like Twitch. As far as, um, as far as what you want to do with it. You'll be able to change um, the tagline of what you're doing. It'll automatically pick up the game. And you can pause. You can stop start. Um, and it's pretty easy to do. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's do a little beam streaming. All right. Here we are on the Xbox One homepage. And... I'm going to show you a couple of quick things here with the Beam streaming and the app. So we're going to look at the app first. I'm going to My Games and Apps, and you'll find it in the App section. Now, 
Now, much like the Twitch app, the Beam app is pretty straightforward. There's nothing fancy about it. Uh, it's basic stream watching. So there's a couple of different ways that you can you can view this. There's the home page basically has your featured streams and then a channel list where you can just see what's going on. You can check by channel up and coming channels, which hopefully one day our channel will be, but if not, it's okay. And channels we're following. So right now Frodo86 is playing Rainbow Six Siege. Earlier, we were playing uh, on Saturdays. You'll see us playing the Dreamcast stream. And uh, if you're following us on the stream on the B map, you'll see you'll see when we're streaming. And then you can choose, of course. You can also look by game. So you can see who's playing what. And then you can just check some basic stats. And you can search as well. Pretty basic stuff. Like I said, there's nothing really nothing really fancy about this. If you really want to utilize Beam in its full capacity, as far as the um, as far as watching streams go, your best bet is probably just to bring it up on edge. So we'll load up Edge here real quick. Because this is HTML5, it's fully Edge compatible. So I, you know, was checking on our stream earlier. You can watch uh, pretty much anything. You can click around. And, you know, look, people are playing Wildlands. Here's the Halo World Championship 2017 qualifier. We'll load this up real quick. You can see pretty much it's the full it's the full app. Complete with chat room and all. It's exactly as you would see it on a PC. Alright. Let's do a little beam streaming ourselves. So. We're going to open up a game. Um, we'll do sleeping dogs. All right, while this is loading up, I'm just going to show you real quick. You hit the guide app. Now you see your brand new guide uh, when you get the creator update. Now this is, of course, the preview app. So we get our guide, and right down here is our beam broadcasting. As I had said before, with Twitch, you're going to have to go in and you're going to have to find it or you got to use voice commands to start your Twitch stream. Whereas here, one hit of the guide button, and then move down to B. We hit A, we hit broadcast your game, and then we're going to get our options. So we can change our broadcast title. We can go to our channel in the uh, app, or we can go to our broadcast settings. I'm just going to show you the settings real quick. You can include your audio with broadcast. You can turn on your microphone if you're going to use your headset. Video quality, high or standard. And include your camera in the broadcast. All things, by the way, you, you're able to do in that quick menu as well. So we go back, we hit guide, come down, broadcast your game. It's going to pop those settings right back up. takes a moment to connect all right so we can uh, change the title we can turn on our microphone turn on our camera turn on the chat window include party audio 
And we can move the broadcast overlay, like I said, to any corner of the screen or the top or bottom middle. I have it on the bottom right. That's just where we're going to have it for now. So when I'm ready, I just click Start Broadcast. And you see it below. See how it moved to the right? And we have our Beam Chat open. So I'm going to reopen Beam on my phone. Now, I know it says Saturday afternoon stream, but it's okay. So if I type something into the chat... There it is. This is how you beam chat. So you can see how long you've been streaming. You can see your menu, uh, your how many people are watching, and whether or not your microphone and your camera are off. So if you wanted to, real quick, you just come to your options, turn on your camera. Your camera will be in whatever position uh, you tell it. And you're off and running. From here, I can pause, I can stop my broadcast, and if I have a party, I can include my party audio. All right, we're going to stop it. And that's it. That's beam broadcasting, folks. Simple, easy. And as I said, uh, instead of the app, I would open up Edge, and as long as you don't mind using the controller and maybe your phone's app as a uh, keyboard, um, you can basically move around the Edge website just as well. So there you have it. If you want to do some quick and dirty streaming, if you are um, just looking to get your name out there as a streamer, this is a great place to start. Uh, this could also be a bridge to opening up you know, a capture card or something like that in a more professional setup. And uh, and it's a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments. Please comment. Let us know if you like streaming, if you're into streaming. Um, let us know if you're looking at Beam as a place to go. And uh, just any other general comments you have. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give this, uh, give this video a nice like, please. And subscribe to the channel. We love doing this kind of stuff, and we have some great content creators. And don't forget, we have the original Next Level Gaming podcast, Sunday nights at 9 p.m. That's Eastern Standard Time, so I hope you see you in our live chat room. This is going to do it for another NLG Presents. We hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that this was informational for you and helped you out. And as always, play on, gamers. <laughs>